Okay, so I opened up the engine compartment for you. Um, wanted to see he's got built in everything with aluminum. Uh, brackets and holding and there's some substructure that's all solid aluminum uh, to strengthen up the motor chassis you can see the seal is there um, it will run through down and out there's a little gap there so it runs runs forward as if it leaks at all um, I haven't noticed that it leaks at all um, you got the transmission and it has uh, water cooling Trans transmission gearing that goes to the front it's all set up really nice stuff bolted on there uh, engine mounts then this is an exchange heat exchange unit so you know that has uh, antifreeze in it and then um, raw water comes in and is secondary there's a secondary storage for that area raw water comes in uh, goes through the manifold um, comes in through, uh, or it doesn't go through the manifold, but goes through the radiator, and then just the antifreeze and coolant go through the actual engine. Um, there's not only this part, but they added the secondary one to make sure that you have plenty of cooling, and then of course there's an overflow tank for that. Um, the Thermo King. There's the heads number B25-1150. Um, it's got separator and filter. Oil filter is there. Secondary fuel filters here. Way overkill for such a small engine, but nice to have. Of course, your air intake here. Um, and then your, your, your exhaust is way, it's way down there. Uh, engine oil oil filler and check is down here on the port side um, along with the starter is back over here you have your switches up front two deep cycle batteries um, I have the charger wired but it's there's no power where I hold this so that it's not on and you have that as your bow pole and your emergency tiller is back here. Let's see. Uh, what else? Bilge. Uh, little water from rain recently down there. I, there's uh, some you know, manufactured vents that come in. I can't figure out except for in the, in the back in the cockpit there might be a little bit of water that comes in through there but that's not as much water as it looks because that's actually a big old thick coat of epoxy down there at the bottom so it's just a very thin amount of water sitting on top of that um, the uh, air or the water intake is, is, is way down there you can see that down there Of course, I leave it open because it's on a trailer. Um, and then that's for winterizing when you want to drain the system. Just simply turn that and you can uh, 
make sure that all the water is out of the system. And a new belt. Alternator. Alternator may not quite look new because the trick with this is there's is getting the alternator that looks like that alternator but you know everything's set up a little different so I just swap out the case put in all the new internals so that it all matches and then I only spend like 40 bucks on an alternator instead of 400 bucks on an alternator uh, actually you can get uh, one for, through Thermo King for a hundred and twenty dollars I'll bolt right on but you know when they put these things in different things like boats and stuff everything's a little different so anyway I can't think of anything else to show you in here um, I should uh, mention that the goop on the top of that is a uh, repair for a I guess a mild leak that the previous owner had um, it hasn't leaked it on my watch at all so I haven't messed with it but he was recommending even though I found the boat to run very good that eventually uh, new fuel injectors would be in order um, I didn't hear uh, any knocking from um, from batch fuel uh, once off idle maybe a little bit at idle but off idle ran really really good uh, so uh, I put some additive in the fuel and, and moved on, and it's it's been good. Um, still, I did research them. They're $125 each. So for $500, you have all new fuel injectors, if uh, if you like. Not too much. Not, 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 not overly expensive for a, a once every 10-year, 15-year deal. All right, that's it.